Today we're looking at the Harvard step test. A uh, bit of an introduction for the test is that it was originally used via thoracic surgeons to look at your level of cardiovascular and respiratory fitness to see whether you can undergo operations. The reason we're using the Harvard step test today is it's a simple test requiring very little equipment. You simply need a step, uh, the bottom step of your stairs at home, about eight inches would be adequate in height or one of the, the many fitness steps that are available. You also need pen, paper to note down your results, a stopwatch, and preferably if you've got on a friend or a colleague that could help you with the results and the timing. And also you need the, a metronome or something that would enable you to keep to time so that we can control the investigation. Don't worry if you've not got an old fashioned metronome because you can use your mobile device and there are a number of free apps that are available for a number of operating systems and so you could download one of those. As we said, the Harvest Step test doesn't require any specialist equipment, but it does require you to think about your health and safety and you need to risk assess the environment that you're going to be doing the test in. I would recommend that you make sure it's free from any trip hazards and also make sure that you're wearing comfortable clothing, you're wearing your trainers, I recommend you don't do it in bare feet and if you're wearing your trainers, make sure that the shoelaces are tied and therefore not going to come undone and you're not going to fall over. Having a colleague or a friend with you can help to make sure that everything's okay and if you feel nauseous, dizzy or you feel short of breath at any point in time then please stop the test and sit down. So it's important to have a chair close by so that you can take a seat immediately after you've completed the test which is required and also if you feel you need to stop then please do stop, you don't need to complete the test. For this test you'll need to be able to measure your pulse and there are two locations that you can measure your pulse from. The first one is on your wrist just at the base of your thumb so if you have your right arm or left arm it doesn't really matter bent slightly at the elbow and using your other hand you can place your fingers preferably not your thumb okay so if you want to remove your thumb and place your first two fingers at the base of your thumb and you should just about with light pressure on your wrist you'll be able to feel that radial pulse. What you're feeling for is there's locations where your arteries run close to the skin and that's what enables you to feel the blood coming through the arteries which is your pulse. The second location that you can measure your pulse rate from would be on your neck which is just at the side of your windpipe in the groove as you move back towards your ear and it's the carotid pulse and you're feeling for that as the blood comes through the carotid artery and again you should feel the blood coming through that artery and you can measure your pulse from your neck on your carotid.